<clears throat> All right. Uh, let's not take too long. Is uh getting started because I've got uh, places to go later. Fifty-three percent of items, though. How about that? Hey, Tia. Glad you can make it at the start this time. Let's see, what's on the agenda today? <clears throat> Apparently what's on the agenda is uh, me yanking my earbuds out of my ears. So if you heard any rustling, that's what that was. Um, oh, cool. Good to know that you have days off on Wednesdays. Alright, anyway, so last time uh, we fought uh, Dark Samus again, so that was cool. Um, got a nice prize, the uh, Echo Visor, and now that's going to let us uh, find Sonic-based keys or whatever the hell they call them. Now I'm just trying to remember uh, what that opens up for us. I feel like it opens up stuff over here. So we're going to go through that uh, that light beam door. We should be able to reach it now. I think. Uh, yeah. Going vaguely the right way. Uh, oh. This isn't the right way at all. Alright, I need to find an alternate route. Um, oh, okay. found the alternate route. I just have to go back through this way and take the uh, elevator down or whatever the hell is over there. something, anything to fill the dead air, which is uh, exactly why I'm talking right now. Uh, let, let's see, I got to here, now I want to go... Right across, got it. Oh, jeez, come on. Don't make me fight those things again. I should have known it was too early to think I had smashed the uh, giant robots all to pieces. Hey, Resbit. Bye, Resbit. Goodbye, Resbit. All right. How about that? Now we can see uh, more of these beams. I know I pointed that out last time, but uh, it doesn't hurt to get a reminder.
Unfortunately, these uh, kind of make it hard to see. Oh, come on. They make it hard to see, I say, as I stubbornly refuse to take off my sunglasses inside. There, now stop bothering me. Um, what other, there it is. It is kind of a cool effect though. Uh, actually seeing the sound waves like beamed to certain locations. It's kind of like uh, when you shoot a, a, when you shot a charged beam in uh, Prime 1 when you had the x-ray visor on could see ripples in the air for whatever reason. Alright. I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm actually doing the right thing. If I'm making progress or if I'm uh, doing a side thing. I guess we'll find out. Seriously, you guys, you're killing my frame rate here. Just stop it. Just stop existing. Everything will be great. You know what? I might have to open up something. This is well I guess as far as side things go, this is this is pretty cool, so we'll do it anyway. Hey Max. Welcome. You haven't missed anything important. We'll get into the uh piece of action uh right here. I don't know if you remembered, but last time I scanned uh, this thing, this caretaker drone. Well, it's actually kind of a... it's an optional mini-boss. It's, uh, you just go along on these rails here, and then it drops down weak points, and you boost ball across, which is actually, uh, pretty fun. And obviously you don't want to stay on the ground too long. Oh, come on. That's rude. And they add layers of difficulty by giving you, uh, or by breaking up the track, so you have to boost ball across. Get out of the way of, uh, I don't know, what the hell, whatever the hell those things are. The hurdy bits. Let's, uh, shit. Oh, 
Come on. Alright, so just one more phase and then we'll get our grand prize, which is just a... Just a missile, I think. Oh no, too early. Oh no, too late. I mean, it's not even a special kind of missile, it's just a regular old missile expansion. But, uh, it's a Metroid game, and that means, uh, you know, not all missile expansions have to be found equally easy. Oh no! Come on! Come on, buddy, I'm not gonna hurt you, except for the part where I'm about to destroy you. Fine. It's cool, death comes for us all. Just, uh... For some people a little sooner than others. Alright, the floor gets uh, electrified. Uh, That's why you don't want to stay down there. Come Oh. Oh. Never mind. I thought it was a missile, but it's actually the way forward. <laughs> uh, or is it? It? Oh good, it is. Uh, excuse me? Oh, there must be another... Yep, there it is. kind of lockdown drone. I may have been thinking about how there's a missile in this room if you uh, go down the uh, this morph ball area the right way. I think I saw the right way so let's just give it a try. Oh no! I fucked it up. All right, so it's left, right. And I think that's the important part. Left, right, right again. And one more time for good luck. I mean, remember when I said before, uh, a, a couple of streams ago, that they uh, really like to make use of the uh, of the kinetic orb cannons. This room is big and doing a number on my frame rate. That frame rate is, or that number is, uh, ninety percent. Of issues with my sensor bar. Oh shit! The one thing uh, I've been thinking about lately is that you know I. I do love the way this handles, uh, this game handles. I think pointing to aim, it feels uh, really natural, but uh, the technology involved in making it work on the Wii is, uh, is a little flawed, I have to say, at least for my purposes here. Check out this lore I almost forgot about. Twilight. Can't believe the Luminoth wrote Twilight. Um. Uh, 
Okay. I was just saying that the Luminoth have gone into uh, some kind of stasis, except for Umos, who is there for, I don't know, reasons. I guess someone has to be there to turn off the lights or keep the lights on. That's what they're doing, because they're moths. Of course they're not. Uh, getting turned around here. Well, I want to go in that direction. So that means I want to open up that blue door there. Okay. Uh, oops. Oh, you know, I think there's a beam. There should be a beam ammo expansion in this room, as I recall. I need to figure out how to get in on that action. Anyway. I can wait until after the the neat prize that awaits us. Uh, uh, prize does not await us in the, the light world, I guess. I have to figure out how to uh, open up a portal, which is right here, but it's behind that door. So I'm guessing I need to go do some more spider ball shenanigans what was that come on there we go that's how it's done yeah th this place uh like i said Last time it has a really good aesthetic. What the hell? Why am I stuck? Okay. Alright, so this is pretty cool. You saw those uh, red markers there? That kind of form a line on this thing? That's uh, actually your timing cue for uh, when to drop a bomb. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go for the beam ammo first. Very clever of them to put in these markers that say bomb here without actually telling you, hey, bomb here. So you can see it being an issue trying to, uh, oops, trying to uh, time those uh, bomb jumps on a moving rail uh, without some kind of uh, visual cue. Second verse, same as the first. A little bit louder, or well, not actually worth. Time to see what the uh, Dark World version of this uh, has in store for us. I don't fully remember. There's one of the keys. And more commandos. Guys just do not give up. Um, let's see. So we can't actually get the key from uh, from this path. That's cool. Uh, oh, right. I want to go through that blue door again. 
We actually have to find a way to get up here from below. And uh, actually, that's what I'm going to do right about now. See, this is what I was missing before, is uh, those grapple beam points. I want to get these puffers out of the way, because if I hit them, take damage, they're going to knock me off. Use my shots a little. There we go. That looks good from here. Oh. Oh, they really wanted me to... Okay. Fortunately, this is not... Uh, one of those games where you have to like control your back and forth momentum, you just have to swing back and forth. You kind of do it automatically. Samus uh, ob obeys the uh, law of conservation of uh, energy. More or less. Oh, hey, Resbit. Hey, there's a prize in there. I wonder if I can actually lock onto it and see what it says. Uh, nope. Oh, well. That's fine. So, let's see. I think... Yeah, it starts with, uh... This bomb slot. And we gotta guide the lasers to uh, those points. Might not have to actually guide the lasers to the points. Uh, let me th see. Okay, yeah, the trick is going to be uh, getting to those platforms in the distance, which means uh, more crossing dimensions, like, uh, like it ain't no thing. Oh no, bees! Bye, bees. Bit. You're going to get in my way like that. Ouch. No, don't move. Shit, I messed up my double jump there. Uh, that's fine.
Oh, wait, one more resident. Okay, you know what? Just... Wait, really? Oh, come on. That was close. Another of the uh, instances where I'm really glad that uh, they give you free aiming in this version because uh, I'm sure I mentioned it before, but when Resbits uh, prepare their virus attack, they uh, you can't lock on to them. And, uh, well, the original GameCube controls are not super great for, um, uh, aiming around. Nord the bees again. I want to get my prize. Okay. I still want to know what's going on in the air here. These, this, uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it except, uh, digital. Anyway, we got a new toy to play with. That's right, it's the screw attack. So, uh, kind of like with the space jump, they changed a little bit what the screw attack actually does. Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah, I can do it here. So now it's... Uh, it extends your jump, basically. It does damage, but you're mostly going to use it as... Uh, as a new means of traversal. Like now, I can just cross this huge uh, gap... You get an extra five jumps out of it, and uh, there are going to be some places I can make use of it. So let's see here. There it's again. Oh, these are air pirates. <laughs> Well, uh, it doesn't, but look, when you get cool technology to uh, make these things happen, it's fine. So, wait, is this the way I came up? That is the way I came up. Go this way. I want to go. Uh, which way do I want to go? Wait a second, um, I'll see what's behind that other blue door that I haven't gone through yet. Been blocked off, so. It does seem odd, but at least in this game, and a number of games do, you know, justify it a little bit. Samus has uh, has like a a rocket booster on her pack on her back. And you can kind of hear it fire every time she uh, she uses it. But uh, 
Please, come on. But the screw attack is a little different. It it just works. It's uh, actually kind of like the uh, the space jump from uh, Zero Mission, and later we're gonna see in uh, Super Metroid. Although, well, like I said, uh, it is limited to five jumps, and you don't get a lot of height out of it. It's mostly for distance. So that was all for nothing because I can't do anything about uh, that door. Now I've got one key. Uh, I need to go in, in below. All right, so that means I have to go back to the main research. Okay, that's doable. Oh, well, if I'd known that I was going to come back here anyway, I wouldn't have gone through three, you know... Taking three trips up the cannons. It's fine. You know what? I think this time I'm gonna go for the that missile expansion that I lost out last time. Oh, good. Maybe if I pay attention to the obstacles in my way. Was convenient. There we go. See, easy every time. There's a way up that I don't recall. Oh, maybe if I just go on the platforms that are lying around here. That seems like a good way up. Alright, so I kind of fibbed when I said that the uh, screw attack um, doesn't give you any height because there are certain locations here where you can do wall jumps. And this is what they look like. All you do is you just time your jumps and, yep, yeah, just kind of bounce your way up. Oh, come on. All right. Cool. There's that key. Uh, I hope that wasn't uh, key number three. Uh, that was key number three. Okay. That means I got to remember where the hell they put the other key. Oh, you know what? I bet it's uh, down there through that power bomb door. That's good. That means that we're getting that much closer to uh, finishing up this area. Uh, let's see. Again, do not care about Mando's.
You know, it's kind of liberating when you realize that you don't actually have to kill all the enemies in your way. Only some of them. Like these guys who just did not learn their lesson last time. Wow. Incredibly rude. Um, let me take a look again. I want to go there. Reactor core. But in the light world, where do I need to go? I need to go to the Hall of Combat Master. Okay. Maybe look for a few health pickups while I'm while I've got these supply boxes just sitting right here for me. Once again, back down we go. Oops. The funny thing about doing the screw attack is that if you uh, space out your jumps like I just did, um, it'll still like send you back to the same height that you were at before. At least I think it's kind of fun. Uh, calling. Combat Masteries, through this door. Got it. It's just funny that, uh, you know, normally it doesn't give you any extra height. And then you see Samus jump uh, really high up. You know, relatively speaking. And then uh, conversely, if you do it, uh, if you time your jumps quickly, well, there isn't a whole lot of vertical movement uh, that way. The game is intent on keeping you at a certain height as long as you do the screw attack. You kind of have, to, you do have to time it a little, uh, a certain way. Oh, guess that jump is over. That's fine. Uh, pop on down here. Well, this is satisfying. <laughs> Stupid night barbs. Look at them flying to that barrier like that. Pay attention, nerds. Anyway. Hey. Hey, stop that. Ooh, in larva. Gross. Alright, um... Huh. I assumed the key would be here.
Maybe there's like some cannon it wants me to use. I find it hard to believe that I would need a uh, screw attack for two keys in this area, but uh, oh well. Oh no, that wasn't it. Oops. Let's take a look at the old map. Oh, that's not the button. Uh Central Hive West Transport. Oh right, yeah, okay. Oh wait. Is that right? Isn't that literally where... Yeah, that was how I got that key. Um... What the hell else am I missing? Oh my god, is it gonna be through the Hive Dynamo works? I bet it's gonna be through the Hive Dynamo. Video games. If I can draw on any of those help steps from. What about you, Power Bomb? You want to come over here? Nope. Oh well. I gave it a shot. this climb. Great. I don't feel like messing with you today, Ing Smasher. Easier way to get to the door works. Yeah, okay. Just actually go through the door and not the portal this time. Makes sense. Didn't I, oh, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Why didn't I go across here before? What could I have possibly needed? Oh, right. I needed the, uh, the echo visor. That's why I didn't uh, come here before. Wow. Really making it loud. forgot about actually coming here. Wow. Well, it just does mean uh, that there's a lot to check out around here. Uh, anything actually down here, though? No, I guess not. I 
We've got more of the uh, Reaper tentacle things. Yeah, see, here we go. Here's that last key. You know what? That uh, Technically, that counts as good routing in my book, so I just need to figure out where the hell they left the save station. I know there's one nearby for a health refill. Now that does not look like it. Probably through that missile door down, down below. There we go. Glad my memory isn't failing me here. goal is through here yeah we're just gonna go straight to the boss of this area which is uh now this is gonna be a real treat I mean, I don't want to hype this thing too much, but, uh... Hey, that sure is a big robot. Here it is, the ultimate of Leggy Boy. So, meet Quadraxis. There are five scans to get here. It shares weak points with the, uh, with the, uh, what the hell are they called? Quad whatever's. Oh. Just, uh, boost ball into the glowing things. It does shockwave attacks because, of course, it does. This is a retro game. And then the joint starts uh, flashing, and that means you can target them. But only when they're flashing. Oh, you know what? I guess you don't actually have to take out the uh, glowing bits. Oh, that's a lock-on reticle. Oh. I didn't boost out of the way fast enough. Uh, the reticle, if it hits you, um, it kind of blurs your vision for a little while. I guess I'll take one for the... Oh, never mind. I was going to say I'll take one for the stream. 
But uh, I guess that's not necessary. Like the little versions, it also has that spin attack. Look at me just completely ignoring the uh, these shockwaves. When it does its version of the spin attack, though, it um, it just draws you in like a vortex. It doesn't actually like move around, and then you have to try to knock it off balance. Oh. I do want a boost ball to get away from it, though. Which is kind of annoying because it takes so long to go into boost ball mode, or morph ball mode, and then charge up a boost to, uh, to escape. I guess I forgot about that. You can also just leave bombs underneath when it's uh, too high up for you to boost through. They're easy every time. Oh, come on. So the last leg is back there. Come on. Light him up. Shit. Shit. Oh, there we go. I think I've taken out its legs. Or maybe not. Well... Yeah, there are a lot of phases to this fight, so... Alright, so I think this counts as a scan, yeah. Damaged Quadraxis. Oh, that stun lasts for a long time. Shielded head module. Okay, so I believe what I have to do is, yeah, the body has a beacon that uh, yeah, uh, come on. I have to super missile this thing? Fine. Now it's the unshielded module. Uh, so let's see. Uh, oh. I've got to attack uh, these sonic points again. Or it creates uh, drones for me to kill. Because nothing can ever be easy in this game. See, look, there are still balls and there is still death. Oh, come on. 
One of these days I'm going to learn what's causing this random slowdown, I swear. Super missile, all the things. That's the strategy. the final phase. This one, let's see. Final head module. Uh, so... The trick is, I have to find a way to get onto its uh, brain. It means I have to stun it somehow. Oh no. So the other part about uh, that stun from getting hit by its beam like that is that you just can't fire your missiles or your beam. Alright. I stunned it, which means it's just going to kind of drift around when it gets into position, like so. Roll onto it and drop a, drop a bomb in its brain. But you got to do it twice. Is it going to go the other way now? Yeah. There is. Take this quadraxis. Destroyed by your own legs. Courtesy of your own legs. Most of this game we've had the light beam and the dark beam. Obviously there's going to be a fourth beam. It's the annihilator beam. Which, uh, for my money, is uh, cool as hell. So the Annihilator Beam. Uh, I'll be sure to show off what it can really do soon enough. Um, so if the Dark Beam is like the Ice Beam from Prime 1, and the Light Beam is like the Plasma Beam, the Annihilator Beam is kind of like the Wave Beam, in that it can lock on. As you can see, it looks considerably different. It doesn't have uh, the three sinusoidal beams coming out of it. Uh, let's see. I want to take the energy back. And as a matter of principle, it's uh, a combination of the light and dark beams. 
It's um, really fun to use. Uh, my favorite thing is to use it on uh, those beacons and crystals. As you may recall, that uh, you, know, you can use light and dark energy to manipulate them. If you hit him with uh, an, the, an annihilator beam shot, uh, it kind of gives the crystals properties of both, which is to say that uh, the dark half of the beam uh, creates an attractive effect for uh, anything ing, whether it's the little guys or the warriors or the hunters. Uh, and the light part of it means they'll vaporize instantly. It is incredible and hilarious to watch. Uh, especially with the warriors as they just kind of stop in their tracks and turn towards the light and then just burn themselves. Maybe they're not so different from the Luminoth. And, uh, let's see, oh, uh, there's an Annihilator Beam door to my left, or right over there, but I can't actually do anything about it yet, and that's kind of annoying. Maybe I'll get to see it here? But now you see it's this guy, it puts up this red barrier. Super Beacon. Uh, yeah, so the two energies working in unison uh, just spell bad news for the Ing. Uh, the other nice thing is that when you shoot anything, or when you kill anything with it, it will produce both types of ammo. So that's the... Uh, that's to make up for the fact that it uses both types of ammo to fire. Uh, I'm missing something, aren't I? Aren't I? How am I supposed to get back out of here? I just have to screw attack across? That seems fake, but okay. I mean, it worked, so... Alright. Where's my nearest portal out of here? Uh, the Hive Dynamo. Okay. And I want to show off how it actually works with beacons and crystals. The least they could do is... Add that to the logbook. Alright, oh, it also activates any rift. I think the only thing it won't do is uh, open up light and dark doors. But uh, other than that, the Annihilator Beam is just so cool. Uh, yes. Nothing doing. Right, but I def before I do anything else, I definitely want to uh, drop off this uh, last energy and go see Umos one last time. I'm going to get something really cool out of it. No, um, no, okay. Uh, I'm really getting turned around. 
That's right, I just have to take the elevator. Let's see what uh, we'll do for res bits. Um, nothing special, I guess. But it's got a pretty good homing effect. So I used a lot of ammo there, but um, it's fine. Ignore those guys. Alright, clear up the skies. Cool. Spiritual acknowledgement or whatever from the hologram. All right, I want to hightail it back to the temple grounds. So our arsenal is uh, pretty complete. But you know, there is one thing missing. It just seems wrong, doesn't it? That, uh, oh, wait, oh, shit. Can I take a detour through here? Well, I could, but I don't want to, actually. Oh, I could go there. Now I can do the thing. Yeah, let's do that. I said I wanted to go straight back to the temple, but, I mean, it's only slightly out of the way to go through the side path, and it might be shorter overall. That's fine. Oh, shit. Jeez. Fine, if you want to play, we can play. Asshole. Okay. Oh, there are more of you? Alright, I'll get this other one for good measure. Come on. There we go. 
All right. So uh, the other thing that the Annihilator Beam does is it has uh, sonic properties to it. We'll switch to the visor. Uh, there are these echo keys. So, so each of these three things here, these key symbols, you make a sound when you shoot it with the Annihilator Beam. So you'll have to shoot them in the right order. Then you get a prize. There are a few locations like that that uh, I haven't really seen, or if I have seen them, I just glossed over them because I couldn't do anything about them. Uh, let's see here. I just want. Yeah. Look at all that beam ammo that was flying out for the, using this thing, though. Really good. There has to be something my computer is doing in the background that I don't know about. Whatever. Gotta scoot on through. No, now that I think about it, I'm not sure that the charge beam has any fancy effect. But, uh... I could just be misremembering. Look at that, I barely have to aim this thing. Back to the light beam. And I should be able to screw attack across now? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I just realized I kind of uh, trailed off there when I said that our, our arsenal is a little incomplete. But uh, let me finish that thought. I think it's about time we uh, got a suit upgrade, don't you think? I mean, it's been how long since we got the uh, the dark suit? When Dark Suit wasn't like an immediate pickup, but it was pretty early on. Which way is it? Not this door, but the next one. Yeah, okay, that's fair to you, but 
you know, it's a new day. It's, uh, God, when did this game come out? Like 2004, I think? I want to say it was 2004, maybe 2005. What I'm trying to say is, uh, time to give it the times. All right. Oh, we're so close, I can almost taste it. I will tell you, this is going to be the final upgrade we're going to pick up in the game. Uh, final major upgrade. Uh, I might... Well, the, the point is... We're going to have... A whole world unlocked. There will be no further barriers except... Uh, for my own skill. Alright, so there's just a big bad. Uh, the Temple Grounds have a Dark World version. We've been there a few times. Here it is, the Blessed Suit of Armor. go magical girl transformation part two or part four oh, no I guess this would be like part six check out this badass piece of armor If the dark beam, or the dark, dark suit, oh, here's the other thing, right along beams of light. Character. Thanks. So if the, the dark suit, you know, was kind of, like, fit in with kind of the organic nature of this world, um, I think the, the light suit kind of, uh, embodies... Let's say purity, like just pure light. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, it, I think the justification for that is that since the Luminoth had contact with the Chozo once upon a time, uh, they know how to work with Chozo technology. But, uh... But yeah, when I look at the light suit, I think of something... Uh... I want to say almost... Like... Hmm... Not to get religious, but almost like it's some kind of divine, celestial thing. You know, like the purifying light of the heavens. In the form of Samus, coming down to rain justice upon the Dark Ing. Really cool. Um, they have, I forget if there was a pop-up that said it. It probably was, but... so. Uh, on top of the uh, reduced damage that you take, 
Uh, when you're in dark ether, you will not take damage from the atmosphere at all anymore. So that part is cool. Uh, there were pools of, like, I don't know, purple evil gunk that you couldn't, that you could barely stand in. Uh, that is now basically like water, completely harmless, and there are in fact things hidden beneath those pools that we'll be seeing uh, sooner or later. But, uh, let's see, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to uh, do all of the cleanup today. You know, gather all the keys I'm going to need to uh, get into the final area, the Sky Temple. So I'm just going to uh, mess around until I uh, you know, pick up things that I remember until it'll be time for me to go. Uh, let's see how this works. So, important note, I guess the, uh, the Dark Pirates are not actually attracted to uh, the supercharged beacons. That's fine. Go key beam signal. All right. What do you got for me? That's it. Uh, how about you? Nope. Is that going to work? Too far. Not the right angle. Oh, how convenient. There's the last uh, beam ammo expansion. So now we have a, a whopping 250 shots. Completely maxed out our capacity there. Uh, let's see. What things can I poke my head into now? This. Oh, hey. It's a uh, Phazon and a Metroid. Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> there's a uh, Metroid carrying off a commando for uh, future meals, I guess. That's adorable in kind of a gruesome way. Some more, come on. But yeah, so you're supposed to use the dark visor to get across here. Let's see what it is. Oops. How do you feel about super missiles? Not a fan. really is messed up that these 
Dark Ing possessed uh, Metroids are completely vulnerable to the Dark Beam. Anyway. Oh, why didn't the screw attack activate? Come on, let's try that again. What's this going to say? Uh, he's recently dead. Moment in clog, whatever. Oh. Azon is actually an entry. Okay. Uh, they don't know. Samus doesn't know where Phazon comes yet. Eventually, but uh, not this game. Let's see what's behind this door. I don't remember. Oops. Bot. Uh, these are dead blue. I don't feel like scanning that. Uh, there. Oh yeah. King Storm. Uh, these are bad news. If you don't have the light suit, they will completely chew through your armor if well like i said if you don't have the light suit uh that's this game's way of gating off this area Doesn't this have a beacon or something I can use? I guess not. The game is really intense on uh, not letting me show you all what it's like to uh, hit a super beacon. To get a super beacon charged up. Ah, but there is something here. So now we have to find keys to the Sky Temple, right? These keys are going to be hidden, and these things here... Oh, you know what? I think I have to shoot it first. Flying Ing Cash. So any time that we find uh, those key bearers in the light world, and uh, I've been scanning them for the most part every time I see them, but come on. Uh, you can scan them, get a log entry, and it'll tell you, uh, just, well, it'll basically just give you a record of the location, and then it'll tell you, it's basically your clue to go into the dark world and, uh, hit up that same spot, and there you're going to find one of those flying ing caches. That's how you get all the keys. So they decided to mix things up with the, uh... Wait. I think... Oh, I can't actually go there, that's why. Profane Path. I mean, these sure are some names. So, uh, this is basically like a, a redux of the uh, the artifact hunt from Prime 1 uh, with just a slightly different structure. Uh, that was awkward, but okay.
You know what? I don't even want to deal with these things anymore. Let's see, where else can I go? Uh, I don't want to go to the wind chamber. I'm not going to the all of the other dead. Uh, Queen of Dark Worship sounds like the place to go. Let's go there. After picking up some extra ammo. Oh, hey, now I've got power bombs so I can smash these gates. How convenient. Uh, let's see. I don't remember if there's anything fun hiding up here. No, nope, that's just uh, where we were before. to the left. Or smashy smashy. Uh, one of these walls. I feel like it's right here. Yep, there it is. Another power bomb expansion. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to waste another power bomb opening that last gate up. That's Oh hey, see some missiles there. See, this is what I can do to fill up time is just uh pick up any items that I happen to see along the way. I'm sure I mentioned before that I did 100% this game at uh, at one point. So theoretically, I know how to get everything. Whether I will or not remains to be seen, but I have done it before is what I'm trying to say. Completely forgot about this missile. Nice of them to just leave it sitting out. Sorry, just trying to get a little more comfortable. Uh, let's see, these things here would hurt more if I had the dark suit. Uh, I 
Sure, I'll take a missile expansion that's just sitting out in the open. Geez, other than a path forward, is that all there is to this area? It seems like there should be more. And over here. Just that single warrior that I don't care about. All right. Like here, there has to be something. This is that dark water I was talking about that uh, I don't want to go into before. Here we go. Now watch this hunter just gravitate towards it and... Oh no! No, I want to show off the thing! Jeez, what a mess. Come on, buddy. Ah, so satisfying. Alright, let's see if there's anything down here. I don't think there's anything down here after all. Well, in other areas there will be something, I promise that. Uh, the real prize, though, is... Where are you? Where are you? Right here. Another ing cash. Catch. Oh, I missed. Take another jump. Alright, so that's uh, two out of the nine. Cool. Let's see, I'm trying to think. I think once I get back to the light world, there's something else I can show off. There is a, an optional mini-boss that I've completely neglected up till now. Uh, oh, let me take a look. Ah, that's what I need to. I need to be able to go to the Hall of Eyes again. All right, cool. So then I'll show off the thing. You might be wondering why you ever would, but there turns out to be uh, something for you if you go back to... Uh, that marine base or the marine forward uh, bastion, whatever the hell they called it. I 
And honestly, you can go back here as soon as you get uh, a translator. First, I want to check the landing site again. I want to make sure that I can't, uh, wait, I can. Oh, excellent. And I think I'm going to do this first. I can go through here, and this will take me to... Honor... Wait. I just gotta go through this uh, Morphall thing here, and it'll take me to where I wanna go and see while I'm in the area. This this way, right? Perfect. There was a super missile door that I uh, couldn't open before first time through, so obviously we're going to take care of that now. I don't remember what's in here. Oh. Speaker miss. Send five missiles to get five missiles. That's the Metroid way. Although I guess if you count the one I fired so I could charge up the Seeker missile, technically six missiles to get five, but uh... Uh, who's counting? Uh, oh. Alright, so there's absolutely no reason to use the half pipe. Got it. Oops. I scanned these things before. I think this is actually the entrance to the temple, so might as well add it to the map.
that is telling me that uh, guy is here, whatever, left his friends. There are, I guess you could say there are technically ten key bearers. Is that uh, one of them has already put his key in. These actually counts. These just give you clues as to where to find the uh, the key bearers. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm just getting them all for completion's sake, I guess. They just give you hints like what general uh, region to go in, and I guess they give you a basic description. That's cool. Don't need to stick around here. I just please thank you. There was a, uh, a key bearer up here. All right, let's watch these warriors just turn towards the light. <laughs> I do this. The trick is going to be actually picking up the key. Never mind. I thought it would be a little too high up. Alright, well that's cool. Nothing down at the end. to the light world. It would be nice if this were like uh, linked to the past. Whenever you're in the light world you can just use an item to uh, warp yourself back. Or when you're in the dark world and warp yourself back to the light world with just a simple button press. Right, so I said I wanted to go to, uh, go back through the Marine, the uh, forward operations. When they decided to, uh, just spray a splinter hive full of uh, pesticide. And I already forgot which way is the easiest way to get there. Nope. Oh, 
on, pirates. Just I don't have time for your bullshit. Just gonna pop back down here. I don't remember if it happens right away. I guess it does. The Dark Missile Trooper. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a mini boss. I don't know when you can actually fight it for the first time. Uh, but uh, obviously when you're fully armored it's uh, really nothing. But it is necessary if you want to get all of the missile expansion. And I'm not saying I want to get all of the missile expansions, but, uh, you know. If I see them, like, what am I going to do? Just leave them there? Look at that, just three shots is all it takes. I feel like there may have been some goodies that I missed at some point in this area, but I might be thinking of uh, another spot. So, all right. Hey, remember when we came here the first time and lost all of our sweet gear? Oh. There should be more missiles in here. Of course, we couldn't go there before because that was right after we lost our bombs. It's just so nice to be able to fire rapidly. Alright. We made it back out. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I don't want to go to the landing site. Day, but let me think. The landing site is just a little too far out of my way for uh, for my needs. Um, I thought I turned off the hint system. Oh well. It's not like he was telling us something I didn't already know. Oh 
Hopefully the game doesn't decide to pester me with that uh, too long. Where am I going? I going this way. Right. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, uh, what I'll save for next time is just the, uh, the key hunting process, and hopefully also for the rest of the game. But I just want to get to a nice central location like the, uh, the temple here. In my head, I thought uh, the, the Ing Fortress slash Sanctuary, uh, I thought they were going to take a lot longer than they did for some reason. Oh well. Uh, so, I guess it's uh, a shorter stream today. Only about two hours. Uh, but that's fine. All right, there's an item there that I already picked up. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking next time is I stream is going to be on Saturday. You know, just give myself a couple of days off before the next stream. So, uh, thank you for coming out to watch. Uh, don't forget, you can always follow me on Twitch and get notifications for when I go live next. Or follow me on Twitter, um, where I'll usually keep a pinned tweet about uh, my future streaming plans. Uh, so yeah, it should be it should be a good time next time. I can't imagine it's the next stream being terribly long, but uh, we'll find out. We'll see how my memory serves me. So, uh, yeah, once again, thank you for showing up, and, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day. Meanwhile, I'm going to get ready for work. Fun times ahead for me. All right, let me just, uh, click the thing here, and, uh, all right. For real now, bye-bye. <laughs>